My name is Abdullah Bilgin. I am the CIO of the Turkish Credit Bureau. Uh, my background is computer engineering. I am a computer engineer for many years, and as a professionally and as a manager in uh, big corporations. But for me to be here has nothing to do with my profession, has nothing to do with my job. I am here because I am a father. I am a father of uh, two successful uh, young lady. Uh, I'm a father of uh, Elif Bilgin, uh, who invented uh, bioplastics uh, last year, uh, just when she was 16 years old and became worldwide famous. Just a, a small story about our family to introduce you. Uh, <laughs> uh, we are a normal family, actually, uh, but a uh, little uh, woman-dominated, 75%. This is also true for my job as well. For the past uh, about uh, over 20 years, in my management team, about 60 to 75 percent of uh, managers that report directly to me is uh, women. And uh, because my uh, background is technical, those ladies are also a uh, highly technical uh, background, and we were uh, giving them a great power to run uh, very complex, highly technical systems, computers, to program and serve millions of millions of customers and millions of transactions every day. Uh, but I was not a boy in the family. I have one brother and many nephews in my own family. So it was a little uh, challenge for me to uh, work with this woman and also uh, stay in a, a family <laughs> that the uh, woman is really highly dominated. But you know, uh, time really teaches you everything. For the past 27 years of my marriage, I'm, I got used to living with women and I got used to working with women as well. As I said, I had two daughters. Uh, the first one is uh, the older one, uh, Jana. She's uh, 22 years old. She's uh, a student. Uh, after graduating from Uskadar American Academy, Academy uh, which is, as you all know, a very prestigious high school in Istanbul, she uh, is currently at Jere uh, Pasha uh, Medical College in her fourth year. I am really amazed with her uh, patience, her uh, dedication, and her uh, planning skills uh, for everything that she needs to do. Being a planner is not enough. You have to be a very good project manager so that you can execute your plans. So she's really uh, doing a great job about that and we are really proud of her. My other daughter, Elif, as you can see the pictures, uh, she is 17 years old right now. She's at Coach High School. Uh, last year, she did an amazing job. Uh, she created bioplastics out of banana peels. Can imagine that banana peels. You can create a bioplastic from potato. It was uh, known before, but uh, we eat potatoes, so it has nothing to do with uh, making a, a mass production. But on the other hand, she looked for a way to create bioplastic from alternative uh, organic material. She searched uh, about uh, two years, and uh, she created uh, bioplastic from banana peels. She started the project as a, a normal school project, uh, she did her job and uh, the exam and everything was fine, but she just uh, kept in mind that this is something very good for the uh, environment. She was very uh, concerned about the environment. She looks around and looks at the plastics from petroleum-based ones, and she wanted to create something that's going to be useful for generations. And uh, she started researching it. Uh, she was uh, making trials, making uh, experiments at our house because this was, this was out of a uh, school project. She basically turned the kitchen to a, a chemistry lab. She was working on it for a few months. Uh, then she couldn't succeed. She made trials. It doesn't work. She creates a, something like plastic. It decays in a few days. She just gets frustrated, but she never gave up. She was keeping it aside for a month or so. After a few months, she was keep thinking in her mind, alternative ways. She makes another try. This took about two years. <laughs> for us, my, myself and my wife, we were just trying to get all the mess out of the kitchen because it was really mess. I even ate one of her trials thinking that it was a burned cookie. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, after she was done, she made a successful uh, results. Uh, her uh, plastic that she created uh, lived like uh, two or three months. Uh, she said, hey, this is a good thing that I have found out. Uh, let me just find a, a competition that I can apply for so that I can get some reward. And she looked for it. Uh, she found Google Science Fair. By the way, all this process is just uh, away from us. We're just after our kitchen, cleaning up the mess, <laughs> nothing else. She was asking some questions. We said, yeah, yeah, sure, just go and do it. 
she found a, a competition all, all by herself. She said, hey, dad, mom, I'm going to apply to this competition. I said, oh, yeah, sure, go and apply it. It's, you're going to do it. So she prepared all the uh, documents. It was, uh, I understood how much work she has done after, after the uh, process, really. She prepared a technical document, highly technical document about how she done the, uh, she has done the project, uh, like 15 pages in English with certain rules, of course, because Google is asking for special rules about documentation. And also there was a rule that uh, she needs to prepare a video in 2.5 minutes, in just two and a half minutes, uh, describing the project. She did all the uh, video shooting uh, with her iPhone, crawling on this carpet and putting some boards and taking pictures. We didn't, we didn't have any idea what she was doing. She took like 20 minutes of video. Then she made a very creative approach by editing uh, with the computer. She compressed the 20 minute video to and a half minutes without losing any uh, content in the, in the project description. When I saw the uh, video, I was really stunned. I said, Elif, this is a great job. You may not get anything, but just for this uh, video, you could get some rewards. It was incredible. See, she applied for the competition and we just forgot about it. After like three or four months, uh, she came up one day and said, hey, tomorrow the results will open. Let me see if I'm going to get anything. This is an international event. It's, Google is organizing it. We know it's very prestigious. Uh, we said thousands of projects is going to apply for it, so just be ready. I mean, you may not get anything. Don't worry. Application is good. Next year you can try another one. We're just trying to calm her down. But it was not true. Yesterday, uh, the day after uh, she told us that it was going to be announced, uh, of course, my wife and uh, herself was at work at the uh, website, just checking for the results. And they announced that she was in the 90 finalists in the first part. Oh, we said, wow, celebration. But just a few minutes after that, they said uh, they also award the special prize, Scientific American Magazine. You know the Scientific American Magazine. They had a special uh, grant prize, about $50,000. They said they found her project valuable for that. So she got $50,000 uh, reward. <laughs> we were jumping up and down. We said, wow, this is great. Uh, all the TV channels and everyone started calling us. She was on interviews, CNN and whatever. <laughs> uh, she, was, she was famous in just day or two. <laughs> it was incredible. Uh, we said, OK, uh, what's the next process? They said, there's going, there's going to be an international worldwide uh, public vote for the projects among those 90 finalists. And uh, of course, uh, we, I should really thank all uh, Turkish uh, youngsters, families, and everyone. Uh, I didn't know that much people, but uh, she received over uh, 200,000 votes. Uh, the closest competitor got get like 8,000, something like that. <laughs> it was incredible. She got the public vote <laughs> worldwide. But when we looked at the comments that uh, the people voting, it was all over the world. People were just passing uh, over Facebook, hey, this is a Turkish lady, this should be a sample to the world, just pass through. Uh, incredible, I mean, people were, I, I had a very good network in the, uh, in the finance sector, in the uh, IT sector, I had many friends, and uh, I had many uh, people that they don't know me. When I introduced myself for uh, a family, uh, for a meeting at work and things like that, I said, do you have anything to do with Elif Bilgin? I said, yeah, she's my daughter. They said, incredible, <laughs> unbelievable. She was, she was really uh, famous. And she got uh, uh, that public voting after a month uh, of uh, voting. She got the public voting. Uh, she also got a $10,000 additional award. And of course, she also won uh, the uh, thousands, thousands of hearts uh, worldwide. She was, uh, she was famous, really, all over the world. Uh, we were getting news from Spain, uh, Greece, Egypt. Uh, Brazil. She even got a uh, marriage proposal from Brazil. Can you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> but it was, it was really, uh, really uh, very uh, incredible for us. We were very proud of her. Uh, and the, the thing that really made this uh, story uh, more success, she did this all by herself. Believe me, I saw her technical document after she uh, won the prize. I said, they were giving a prize to her. I don't know what she has done. She did a good job, I know it, but uh, what did she do to convince those people? Because the jurors in the state, United States, and she was applying here. I looked at the paper, it was unbelievable. Very technical, in more details. Uh, I knew already uh, the project description in the video. It was incredible, so we were really proud of her.
when I look back, look back uh, about how we raise these children, uh, I found really uh, four important uh, habits that we applied with my wife and myself to our life. The first one is becoming team. The second one is becoming sincere. And the third one is becoming respectful. And of course, uh, being responsible. These are the habits that we try to apply to our life. Uh, we made a very good team with my wife uh, for 27 years. Uh, she handles the internal affairs, she handles the <laughs> co corporate communications, and also she handles the two ladies most of the time. I handle the foreign relations, I handle the finance part, so we had a very good uh, team relationship. It works really great. But uh, what we found out that uh, uh, the other parts are also important, being sincere, being respectful, and uh, being responsible. You have to teach your uh, kids to be responsible so that they can do everything on their uh, feet. They can do it all by themselves. They have to empower themselves. These four uh, habits really helped me to empower the people around me, both uh, as a family, both as a professional colleagues. Uh, it was really key components that I, it worked for me. I hope it will work for you as well. Um, we, of course, like all the families, uh, we tell our children that uh, they should read, they should behave, they should be curious, they should uh, tell whatever happens, we will help them. Uh, everything, I mean, uh, help each other, everything. But you know, these are kids, they just do it their way. They never listen to you, they just have their mind, and they know the, uh, the best uh, for everything. But what we, what we found out that uh, telling them doesn't work. Just don't spend your time. Don't spend any time on it, telling doesn't work. You have to show them demonstration and uh, being a sample uh, for them. So we try to uh, apply all these habits to our lives. Uh, we try to be more sincere. We try to be more respectable to each other. We try to be a team as a family. I know uh, all the friends of my daughters. I know their families, my wife as well. And we are very good friends with their families as well. This, we don't do this just to control their life. Because we are a team, we just do this because we need to help each other, we need to uh, know the environment. So it works uh, pretty good. I was, uh, I was, as I said, I was the uh, uh, second boy in my own family uh, with my brother, with the relations with my brother. Uh, of course, it's uh, very interesting. I mean, uh, we were fighting quite a lot. Uh, on the other hand, when I look at my daughters, they don't fight. Uh, let me not say they don't fight, they argue. But they argue, my God, endlessly, it's unbelievable. But what we found out that when you leave them alone, when we travel, we just leave them alone, they get along pretty good. So this uh, should give you a clue as well. I mean, they, when the time comes, when they need to do, they just get along very good, they had very good relationship. But uh, when you are in the family, it's uh, pretty good active arguments, uh, you can see that. And of course, uh, boys are more distant to the family, uh, as uh, I was, as my brother was. Uh, they are more outgoing. But on the other hand, girls are more uh, family type uh, persons. It's very good uh, and very easy to build a relationship with the girls. So I was uh, pretty happy about that. And we had a very good relationship with our family as well. Last but not the least, fun is a very important factor in our family. Uh, we had really great fun. We are like an Italian family, We're very noisy very uh, active family uh, relationship. We sit together every day at a dinner table. We share everything uh, that happened today. We share what's going on in school. We share what's going on with their friends. We share what's going on in the, in the politics. Everything. I mean, we make uh, jokes, we laugh. This is a very good place for us uh, to share uh, the quality time with our family. So we make sure that every time, uh, every uh, evening, we have a family dinner unless there's something very important comes up or we have to go to some other uh, organizations. And also on weekends, we had a very good uh, organization almost every week, uh, every Saturday, Sunday, we had a family uh, breakfast, either at home or we go outside to Bosper somewhere. But this is a very good uh, time for us to share it. Uh, other than that, they're just free. I sent my daughters, uh, the older daughter, to uh, Europe uh, two years ago. Uh, with her a group of her friends. They traveled uh, by a uh, youth train that you, maybe most of you already knew. They traveled all over the Europe. She was just keep texting us. I am in uh, Berlin, I am in Paris, and I am in, uh, in a scary, scary that uh, roller coaster. I said, what the hell are you doing up there? But she likes it. <laughs> uh, so they are, they, are, uh, they are empowered to uh, plan their life. 
uh, do uh, as they plan, as they fit to themselves, but uh, they always apply the rules that we taught them. We trust them, we know how much they can do, we know their limits, and they also know their limits. So if you uh, look at the bottom line, uh, we have found so far, which worked for us, is that uh, love and care is the more important thing, the most important thing for uh, a relationship in a family, a relationship around uh, your colleagues or friends. Uh, we show, we try to show that uh, to our kids, uh, we really love them and we really care. That's all matters. Thank you very much.